Welcome to an introduction to a world divided, the Cold War, a global confrontation between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, locked in a struggle for dominance. This period spanned nearly half a century from the end of World War II until the early 1990s. It was a clash of ideologies, capitalism versus communism, democracy versus totalitarianism. The Cold War was a time of intense rivalry, marked by political maneuvering, military buildups, and the constant threat of nuclear war. It reshaped the geopolitical landscape, divided the world into two camps, and left an indelible mark on the 20th century. The rivalry extended to every corner of the globe, from Europe to Asia, from Africa to Latin America. It fueled proxy wars, toppled governments, and shaped the destinies of nations. Indeed, the Cold War was a defining era that continues to influence international relations today. The Cold War emerged from the ashes of World War II, as the wartime alliance between the United States and the Soviet Union began to unravel. Suspicions grew, and differences in ideology and post-war visions fueled tensions. The U.S., emerging from the war as a superpower, sought to promote democracy and capitalism. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union, devastated by war, aimed to secure its borders and expand its influence, seeing communism as the path to a more just world. These divergent goals created a fundamental divide, forming the crux of the Cold War. The Yalta and Potsdam conferences intended to shape the post-war order exposed these growing rifts, particularly over the future of Eastern Europe. The Soviet Union sought to establish a buffer zone to protect itself from future invasions, while the United States, promoting self-determination, opposed this. The Soviets' installation of communist regimes in Eastern Europe solidified the divide, and the Iron Curtain had fallen, marking the beginning of the Cold War. Europe became the central stage of the Cold War, divided by the Iron Curtain, a physical and ideological barrier that separated East from West. The Soviet Union consolidated its control over Eastern Europe by installing puppet regimes, suppressing dissent, and creating a bloc of satellite states. The Truman Doctrine, announced in 1947, signaled America's resolve to support countries resisting communist expansion. This marked the beginning of the policy of containment aimed at halting the spread of Soviet influence. The Marshall Plan, launched in 1948, provided billions of dollars in aid to help rebuild war-torn Europe, bolster Western European economies, and prevent the spread of communism by fostering economic stability and growth. Germany, divided after the war, became a focal point of Cold War tensions. During the Berlin blockade of 1948 to 1949, the Soviets cut off access to West Berlin, but the Western allies responded with the Berlin airlift, becoming a symbol of Western resolve. The Cold War was defined by a dangerous arms race, with both superpowers amassing vast nuclear arsenals, each side seeking to deter the other. The fear of mutually assured destruction or MAD loomed large, casting a long shadow over global politics. The development of the atomic bomb by the United States in 1945 shifted the balance of power. The Soviet Union's successful test of an atomic bomb in 1949 intensified the arms race, and the development of the hydrogen bomb, even more destructive, further escalated tensions. The arms race had a profound impact on military spending as both sides poured vast resources into developing new weapons systems. The development of Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles or ICBMs created a new dimension to the threat, making it possible to strike targets across continents. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 brought the world to the brink of nuclear war, with the Soviet Union placing nuclear missiles in Cuba, a direct threat to the United States, leading to a tense standoff that nearly resulted in a nuclear exchange. Section 5. Proxy Wars and Global Upheavals, The Cold War's Reach Beyond Europe The Cold War extended far beyond Europe, fueling proxy wars and conflicts around the globe. The superpowers supported opposing sides in these conflicts, each seeking to advance their own interests. These proxy wars often had devastating consequences for the countries involved. The Korean War, from 1950 to 1953, was one such conflict. It pitted the Communist North, backed by China and the Soviet Union, against the South, supported by the United States and UN forces. The war resulted in millions of casualties and ended in a stalemate. Another proxy war, the Vietnam War, 
lasted from 1955 to 1975. It saw the Communist North, supported by the Soviet Union and China, against the US-backed South. This war became increasingly unpopular in the United States and ended with the Communist victory in 1975. The Cold War also fueled conflicts in Latin America, Africa, and the Middle East, where the superpowers often supported authoritarian regimes to prevent the spread of communist influence. This support for dictatorships had long-lasting consequences for these regions. Section 6. The Space Race, a battle for technological supremacy and prestige. The Cold War rivalry extended beyond Earth and reached into the cosmos. The space race became a symbol of technological prowess and captured the imagination of people worldwide. Both superpowers invested heavily in space exploration, aiming to demonstrate their scientific and technological superiority. The Soviet Union took an early lead with the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957, the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth, which shocked the United States. This spurred a wave of investment in science and technology education. The Soviets followed this up with Yuri Gagarin's historic flight in 1961, becoming the first human in space. These achievements gave the Soviet Union a significant propaganda victory, highlighting their technological capabilities. Meanwhile, the United States, determined to catch up, poured resources into its space program. NASA was established in 1958 to coordinate space exploration efforts. The Apollo program, launched in the 60s, aimed to land a man on the moon. Section 7. Espionage and Subterfuge. The Shadow War of Intelligence Gathering. Beneath the surface of the Cold War, a shadow war raged. Espionage and intelligence gathering became crucial fronts in the conflict. Both sides developed sophisticated intelligence networks, seeking to infiltrate each other's governments and military. The KGB, the Soviet Union's intelligence agency, was a formidable force responsible for gathering intelligence, conducting covert operations, and suppressing dissent at home and abroad. Its reach was vast, with agents operating around the world. Similarly, the CIA, the United States Intelligence Agency, gathered intelligence on Soviet activities and conducted covert operations to counter Soviet influence. The CIA was involved in numerous Cold War operations, some of which remain controversial to this day. Espionage played a crucial role in shaping the Cold War, providing valuable intelligence on enemy capabilities and intentions, helping prevent surprises, and influencing decision-making at the highest levels of government. While the Cold War was dominated by the US and USSR, cracks began to appear within their respective blocs. Internal divisions and challenges to their authority emerged, signaling a shift in the dynamics of the Cold War. In the Soviet bloc, dissent against communist rule grew. The Hungarian Revolution of 1956 and the Prague Spring of 1968 were brutally suppressed by the Soviets, demonstrating their determination to maintain control over their sphere of influence. China, initially a close ally of the Soviet Union, split with Moscow in the 1960s. This Sino-Soviet split created a new dimension in the Cold War, giving the United States an opportunity to exploit this division to its advantage. Within the Western Bloc, there were also differences and tensions. The Vietnam War caused deep divisions within the United States, leading to protests and social unrest. European allies also had different perspectives on Cold War issues. The 1970s witnessed a period of détente, a thawing of relations between the superpowers. The Nuclear Test Ban Treaty of 1963 and the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks were attempts to reduce tensions and the risk of nuclear war. The Helsinki Accords of 1975 addressed a range of issues, including human rights and territorial integrity. These agreements reflected a growing recognition of the need for dialogue and cooperation. However, détente was not without its limits. Periods of confrontation continued throughout the 1970s. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979 marked a return to Cold War tensions, leading to a renewed arms race and straining relations between the superpowers. The 1980s saw a resurgence of Cold War tensions. The election of Ronald Reagan in the United States ushered in an era of renewed confrontation. Reagan's hardline stance towards the Soviet Union, his support for anti-communist movements, and his commitment to military buildup put pressure on the Soviet system. The Soviet Union, under the leadership of Mikhail Gorbachev, embarked on a series of reforms. 
Perestroika aimed to restructure the Soviet economy, while Glasnost sought to increase openness and transparency. These reforms, however, unleashed forces that Gorbachev could not control. In 1989, the Berlin Wall, a symbol of Cold War division for nearly three decades, fell. This event, largely peaceful and driven by the will of the people, marked a turning point in history. It signaled the imminent collapse of the Soviet Empire. On December 25, 1991, the Soviet Union dissolved, marking the end of the Cold War and ushering in a new era in international relations. The world had changed dramatically. The bipolar system that had defined global politics for nearly half a century was no more. The Cold War may be over, but its legacy continues to shape the world we live in today. The ideological struggle between capitalism and communism has had a profound impact on political systems, economic models, and social structures around the world. The Cold War also left a legacy of military interventions, proxy wars, and regional conflicts. The consequences of these conflicts are still felt today and continue to influence international relations and pose challenges to global security. The collapse of the Soviet Union led to the emergence of new states and the re-emergence of old rivalries. The post-Cold War world has been marked by both cooperation and conflict, as it continues to grapple with the challenges of globalization, terrorism, and climate change. The Cold War serves as a reminder of the dangers of ideological extremism, the importance of diplomacy, and the need for international cooperation. Understanding the Cold War and its legacy is essential for navigating the complexities of the 21st century.